Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial showing how showing you guys how to save and load tables on Roblox using the data API or data persistence. If you're not familiar with the data persistence stuff on Roblox, I suggest learning that stuff first before attempting to do this. In most cases, saving a table on Roblox probably isn't going to be very necessary for your game. However, maybe you're making some huge large scale game and need to uh, save a lot of, lot of uh, data all in one. So sometimes it is necessary. And when you come to those uh, sort of points in your game, it's probably a good thing to know how to do it. So thankfully, Roblox actually provides us with a really easy way to do this. So. If you've ever heard of JSON, which is a JavaScript object notation, uh, it's really just an easy way to organize data, and you can also have it in string format. And if you know anything about Roblox's data API, you can save strings. Roblox also provides a library, the Roblox utility library, that includes a decode and encode JSON function. So right off the bat, we have it pretty simple, uh, and we just really have to uh, input the components to do this correctly. So right here, <coughs> I have a simple player entered function that's triggered every time a player enters, and then we have a simple data table where we're just we're we're gonna store all our data. Right now, it just defaults to visited equals false, number equals thirty two, and name equals the player's name. Also take note that when you're doing this, um, you're not going to want to have objects in your table. If you do that, you will probably get an error. So just make sure that you're using primitive data types and strings, which are basically these for Lua. I also put in a little scenario here where we just have an uh, infinite loop that waits five seconds and increases number by two forever, basically. I also added two comments here, load table and save table. These are our two key points where we're gonna wanna add code to save and load our table. So first of all, let's define a key to save our table as. So I'm just gonna call it local data key equals table. We're just gonna keep it simple. We're also going to use the RBX utility library provided on Roblox. This includes uh, encode and, JSON and decode JSON functions that we're going to have to use. So to load a Roblox library, all you have to do is define it, whatever you want. I'm just going to call it util and use the load library global function and then the name of it, which is RBX utility. That's simple. So first of all, let's save our table. So we have data, which is in table format, and we want to convert it into string format. So to do this, just define something else, uh, just call it data string. And then we're going to want to use that library to convert it to a string. So we're going to do util dot encode JSON, and then our table, which is right here data. So copy that. So now our table is in string format under the variable data string. The next step is to just save it to the player. <clears throat> Although, first of all, I did run into a little red flag here. I'm going to want to add player wait for data ready. And then let's go back down here and save it. So player, save string, and then we're gonna use the data key string here, and use that as our key, and then save data string. So it's literally that simple to save a table. And really loading isn't even that much more complicated either. There is one extra step to it, but for the most part, it's just as much straightforward. So let's load our string again. So data string, 
equals util. And this time, oh, I'm sorry, we need to load it from the player first. So player load string and just our data key. So what this does is retrieve our data string that we had saved previously. However, if we haven't actually saved a string yet, this is going to return a blank string like that. When you try to use decode JSON with a blank string, it will error. So to prevent that, we're just going to say if data string is not a blank string, then that obviously means that we have already saved something and we are okay to override data with the loaded table. So I'm just going to say data equals util.decodeJSON, our data string that we loaded. And that's as simple as it is. It's really fast just going back through it. We have our little data table here. We're going to load that data. So we load it from the player, the string format. We make sure that it's actually been saved before. And then we turn that string into our table and add it as our data variable. And then we have a little scenario here where we have an infinite loop. And every five seconds, our data.number value is increased by two. After that, we want to save the table again. So we create our variable. And really having this local here isn't actually necessary since we already defined it up here. Uh, so data string, and then we encode JSON. So we take our table and turn it into string format. And then we go back and save it to the player. And that's that simple.